Hello, another part of my life story. We're still in London, there's so much to tell. Alexander Technique, this was very important to me. I had two or three hundred lessons altogether, as I said, in exchange for cleaning. Um, I did two clients that way, two of them were Alexander teachers. And um, it's hard to explain um, exactly what the Alexander Technique is about, so at the end of this section, I will show you. Um, uh, through the Alexander Technique, I met um, a young woman called Lisa Larson. She was attending the school for Alexander students, and uh, she came from Sweden. And uh, we got friendly, she invited me to stay with her, and that uh, meant that at the age of 32, I had my first aeroplane flight. Wonderful. Uh, so I went to stay with her for a week, and um, rode her boyfriend's uh, motorbike along the beach. Uh, I, uh, well, she also introduced me to uh, her friend who gave me another cleaning job that was in Islington. About 30 minutes uh, bicycle ride. So. But I always had my um, rainproof suit with me. Uh, it was an all in one yellow suit which would uh, keep all the rain out and it had a hood on which you could tie underneath. So um, it, it was never any trouble uh, cycling in the rain. I even had uh, Wellingtons if it was very, very wet. Um, unfortunately, uh, I was knocked off my bike on three occasions uh, by careless London drivers. Well, that's quite a shock to the system. I, I was never uh, injured, but uh, I certainly uh, suffered some trauma. Um, it never happened in Plymouth once I moved there. Uh, just shows you what the uh, London drivers are like uh, and the kind of density of traffic which I was cycling in. Um, I also went to healing classes. Uh, one of the Alexander teachers, Lindy, um, was uh, involved with healing and um, I attended her services where she invited a, a minister who conducted the service. Uh, I also went to uh, healing sessions which were given by the uh, Spiritualist uh, Association churches. Um, that was uh, very helpful to have somewhere to go to where somebody uh, helps uh, relax you and uh, you know take some of the physical and mental stress away. Um, but I, I still uh, recognised that I had to, to sort out a few issues which were bunging up my head, you might say. So I enrolled in a course of co-counselling. Uh, this is a, a low-cost thing where we went up to um, an old house on the borders of Scotland uh, for a week. And um, you learn to counsel each other rather than having a professional counsellor. And um, that was good because I continued that for about a year afterwards uh, in the group situation. Um, and during that uh, first uh, teaching period, I went attended a party at the end, uh, a sort of last night party where there was uh, lots of alcohol available and um, people were all having a fine time and I was feeling like an outsider as usual so of course I was um, drinking anything that was sitting on top of the table really not really bothered what it was and I woke up in the morning with a terrible hangover the worst hangover I've ever had and uh, decided to uh, give up drinking. Uh, I didn't uh, drink any more alcohol for about four years after that. Didn't 
didn't go to the pub with friends and um, stopped drinking at home. So uh, that cleared my head quite well uh, and it also helped my stomach because the uh, homemade wine was a little bit acidic sometimes. Um, so that, that was more progress. Um, meditation at home using the Buddhist meditation every day I would cook a meal for myself in the evening and uh, once I'd settled down I would do my uh, Buddhist meditation uh, for 20 minutes or so that was relaxing and then um, watch my color TV which was a novelty uh, because uh, there were only three channels at the time BBC One, BBC Two and ITV Channel Four was just coming along uh, but simply the fact of having my own colour TV uh, was, was really a great pleasure. Um, there were other developments like uh, phones, uh, which had for a very long time you had to ring using your finger stuck in a hole to dial a number. Um, my mum generously bought uh, an installation of a phone for me and I could buy a new push-button phone. Uh, so that was uh, very good. I went to concerts, uh, I went to theatres, small ones because the, the entrance price was much lower. Um, but I really had a good time, even though I was alone a lot of the time. It was an adventure. Um, but I decided that uh, I wanted to do something to help people and um, Pensioners Link came along. This was an organisation which uh, offered services for pensioners who were still living in their own homes. And I uh, volunteered once a month, uh, going to people's houses, changing light bulbs, changing curtains, painting walls, etc., etc. And it was really very rewarding, um, not uh, in terms of money because we didn't get paid for it, but uh, that contact with people and feeling as though I was uh, being of service to people was very good and it was an opening for the future. I, I realised that um, cleaning was not a long term option for, for work uh, and my mind was becoming open to uh, doing something longer lasting and more fulfilling. Um, also I did make efforts to meet women. Um, I went out with one or two uh, and I also joined a dating agency. Um, I was introduced to a few women that way. <laughs> never really, really lasted more than one or two meetings but it was an experience um, and of course the, uh, the experience of being a volunteer uh, once a month made me feel less like an outsider I, I uh, related well to Lisa Larson because she was an outsider she, she was a foreigner um, she wasn't that familiar with the language and um, I, I um, you know, felt the way that she did, like I was outside uh, normal society. Now we have uh, reached 10 minutes, so we'll do a quick demonstration of the, the, the Alexander Technique. I'll do this by lying down, Elite will follow me. So this is the position for uh, relaxing. I used to use this every day uh, in London, uh, especially when I was doing my cleaning jobs. Uh, and my back needed a rest. This is the best way to lie down and rest the back. And uh, they teach you in the Alexander Technique to imagine your body lengthening and widening. So that means you're counteracting the tendency for muscles to uh, contract. Uh, everything is opening up. And indeed, when you have a lesson, you are lying on a massage table and the 
Alexander's teacher will teach you in that position to begin with. Um, so that's it. Okay.